At a time of crisis, Alexander Lukashenko calls Vladimir Putin for help. Despite an unprecedented challenge to Lukashenko's rule, the Russian leader was willing to continue a marriage of convenience. Assistance came in the form of a $1.5 billion loan offered by President Putin at what he called this difficult time. We all see and understand that there are political events happening in Belarus related to the elections. You know our position well. We are in favor of Belarusians sorting this out without pressure from the outside, through a peaceful dialogue with one another, in order to find a solution. President Putin reiterated Russia's security arrangements with Belarus, a reminder that a reserve police force is available if necessary. But for now, experts say a direct intervention is unlikely. In propping up Lukashenko, Vladimir Putin knows he needs to strike a balance. The Kremlin has leverage over the Belarusian leader, but keeping him in power risks alienating angry demonstrators and turning the mood on the streets against Moscow. Since the contested August 9th election, protesters have gathered in Belarus daily. They continue to be met with force. On Sunday, 774 were arrested across the country. Analysts say the turmoil marks an opportunity for Russia's leadership. The Kremlin will take advantage of this situation, will try to take advantage of this situation and to finally to achieve its main aim, which has been its main aim for the last two decades, to attach Belarus to Russia as firmly as possible and to preclude any integration between, West, between the West and Belarus. The exact nature of that integration is unclear, but as Samarukov explains, it will involve keeping Belarus firmly in Russia's orbit. And for now, that means ensuring Alexander Lukashenko stays at the helm. Julia Chapman, CGTN, Moscow.